Patriot play CA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New England Patriots. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Run coverage excellent there from the defensive end position. How many times did we sit with coaches and they talk about a base defensive end, a guy who can anchor and play with leverage? We just saw a great example of it. And how about the bonus tackling the runner for a loss? A nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. They didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down, avoiding that three and out. How vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Throwing Jones. Checking this down to Stevenson. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to midfield. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. <laughs> Stevenson now on first and ten. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And down to the 44, five yards that time. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Looking to throw, Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Jones throw taken in by Bourne and brought down but not before they're inside the 25. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. He doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Uh, 
They'll look to throw again. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it brings up third and five now. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But they took the shot, didn't get it. And there's definitely a difference here because they had a chance to get seven, maybe eight if they pushed it. Instead, they'll likely settle for three. Yeah, opening drive, holding him to three. Psychologically, maybe a win for the defense. And his kick is indeed good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. Touchdown, back out to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. And Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. As they've got it as we resume action. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Powell. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. First down, Hal to throw. Throwing it Terry McLaurin's way again, and he's got it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. Now how? And he'll just get rid of it. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. It's Howell with another throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He came through with the nice pass break up there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. Yeah. 
Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. And Howe will throw it. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people wonder why didn't they try and run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from then on out. Sly able to put this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. A give to Elliott running left. Four yards to pick up, first down. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Coming up on three minutes left in the half in a 3-3 ball game. Just a pair of field goals to this point. Juju in motion left. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. The guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over-pursuing, and making a very nice play. Second and nine. Operating from the gun, Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now Jones on third down. That is caught, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Jones now on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Open man down the field is Henry. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. So from the 25, this is second and five. Back to throw again. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw. Jones. Short pass caught by Henry. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run it with Elliott. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw, Jones. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Second and two, first down marker at the five yard line. Back to throw. Jones. Pass on the out route caught by Smith Schuster. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith Schuster. A seven yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And it is up. That's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. For the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. 
Now they go play action with Hal. That one downfield for Dotson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Patriots are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Second and seven. Robinson with another carry. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way. But you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge. And that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. third and short going with their tight end and this is going to be a commander's first down as he's got this up to the 40 yard line now that run that's exactly why you stay with the running game you don't abandon it totally you stick with it keep telling your guys to stay motivated and they found a crease on that play First and ten, it's Robinson. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. This time they'll throw it with Hal. Inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. Robinson up the middle. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What, what can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. That defensive front four has been very good. They have just not let the running game get going, have they? Not at all. In fact, the entire offense just looking a little bit out of sync in this one. Yeah, sometimes this is why coaches like four down defensive linemen. They feel like they can cover more ground when defending the run. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. 
field goal unit and Joey Sly now. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay at a seven-point game. The Pats at the line ready to go. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. A second and ten now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. To throw again. Jones and oh he's unable to hold on to that defensively a potential game changer but it falls incomplete well so far on this drive they've done some good work they force incompletions on first and second down bring up third and ten that brings up the big question do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down Jones to throw on third down that's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And the Commanders are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Now throwing on first down here. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. On first down, Hal. And yet again, it's McLaurin. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. Robinson on a give right side. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Second down and six now. They run the draw here with Robinson. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Throwing here, Howell. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Pats are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10. Right at the 30. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. the 35 here comes second and five looking to throw Jones he'll find Smith Schuster that's complete and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down throw Jones a quick throw there is incomplete 
He was looking for his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And that'll bring up second down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Here's Jones. Throwing on first down. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now a throw here, hauled in. Call it a gain of six on the play. Third and seven now. Operating from the gun. Jones, work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Jones looking around. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Patriots can run it out from here. Stevenson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A 
Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. What do they have for this? Third and 11. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. So on is the kicker, Chad Ryland, in a big spot. This to perhaps salt this one away. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. out is the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away and he takes this near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 this is first and 10 here's Howell now a desperation throw deep downfield and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there, waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start. But they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. Here comes second down. Powell with one final shot. He's going to let it fly. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And the Commanders are going to have it here just past the 25. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.